It's well known that water can be very damaging to a fuel system and must be removed when present in diesel fuel. I'd like to show you an advanced design of a dual function filter developed by Cummins Filtration. This unit removes hard particles and water from diesel fuel. This video will provide a product overview, then demonstrate how the unit effectively removes tiny water droplets from diesel fuel. Here you see the components that make up the advanced three-stage design. The first stage is made of a proprietary multi-layer media known as NanoNet. The second stage is a tubular water coalescing media. The third and final stage is a water repelling barrier. Here you see a cutaway of an example product that is applied to the engine. As a little background, these new stages are utilized in premium products and supersede older technologies such as those using a single stage filter element as shown here. The new technology provides much higher performance, especially as the filter ages and in fuels such as biodiesels where water removal can be especially difficult. For this demonstration, we have put the new product into a clear housing so we can see how water removal is accomplished. In this video, we are subjecting the unit to a very challenging test developed by the Society of Automotive Engineers. This test is known as SAE J1488, a multiplied water and fuel separation test procedure, and it utilizes a high-speed centrifugal pump to emulsify the water into the fuel. The resulting water droplets are too small to be seen with the naked eye, and they give the fuel a cloudy appearance. Right now, there is clean, clear fuel flowing through the filter. This hose is the inlet to the filter, and the other hose is the outlet of the filter. Now we begin adding water to the fuel. We can observe the water and fuel mixture in the inlet hose. The fuel alone was very clear, but the mixture of water and fuel has a cloudy appearance. We can also observe the outlet fluid, which is clear as a result of the three-stage unit taking water out of the fuel. Now let's further zoom in to the incoming fuel and water mixture hose. Then to the filter housing inlet and then to the water collection chamber at the bottom of the housing. The bottom chamber is situated in between stages two and three of the water removal unit. This is of course where the separated water is collected. The water removal is accomplished by coalescing or joining together the tiny water droplets into larger water droplets. This occurs in the first two filter stages and then the larger droplets are repelled by the third stage which is a water barrier. As the third stage repels the large water droplets, you can see them fall to the bottom of the unit. Now let's take a look at the outlet hose up close. It's obvious the filter has removed the water from the fuel. In summary, we're sending an intensely blended water and fuel mixture into the housing. Yet the advanced filter efficiently removes the water as can be seen in the clear fuel outlet hose. For more information on water removal, register for free training at fleetschool.com.